Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll be seeing how to create a classification tree in Jump. So the data set that I have here is film thickness and various parameters that affect the film thickness. And uh, for the sake of this uh, demonstration, I've also created an outcome. So basically, if you see the outcome variable, uh, I used a formula to create it. Uh, so you can see that if the thickness is greater than 9.5, it means it's a fail or else it's a pass. So now uh, let me show you how to create a classification tree. So to do so, you go to analyze and then go to predictive modeling and then say partition. In the partition menu, uh, you choose outcome as the Y response and then you choose all the variables of interest. In this case, it's react one through humidity. Choose them as uh, X factor and by default, you can see the method here is decision tree. However, there are other types of uh, trees in forest that are available, but that's available only in Jump Pro. It's not available in Jump. The, I'm, I'm using here a student edition. So if you want to uh, use the other types of uh, uh, tree based uh, regression models then you need jump pro for that so here i'm going to let it remain in uh, decision tree and then uh, i say okay so now here uh, in the uh, in the decision tree outcome uh, uh, window you can see that uh, jump has uh, split uh, the data into two different uh, columns based on the, uh, the outcome column that i've that I had created one is pass and fail so here uh, sometimes it can happen that the points are not colored so here you can see that uh, the blue ones are the ones that are passed and the red ones are the ones that have failed sometimes uh, you can see that they are not colored but uh, here you can see that they are colored if they are not colored then you can click this color points option and then uh, you can see the points colored so now here uh, uh, to see the number of counts uh, let's uh, choose the red triangle option uh, and uh, then go to display option and then say show split count so now here you can see that out of these uh, 100 batches 19 of them failed and 81 are passed and uh, now uh, so to create a tree based regression uh, you can either use the split button here or you have the option to split uh, uh, based on the split best and there also you can set minimum split size about which i'll be talking about later but for this demonstration i'll use the split button here so when i click split what happens is uh, uh, the data was split based on the react to variable so and based on this split it is found that uh, when the react to's concentration is less than 5.257 uh, 95% uh, of the batches passed and about 4% failed and when the react 2 is greater than uh, 5.257 uh, it found that 62% uh, 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 failed and 37% passed so now uh, similarly you can keep splitting the data as in when you need so now you can see that uh, when react 2 is greater than 5.257 another variable that was considered here is humidity when the humidity is less than 57.5% uh, uh, then uh, you can see that 75% passed and uh, when the humidity is greater than this 57.5% uh, uh, about 95% failed uh, so now uh, similarly uh, you can keep creating uh, more and more uh, uh, splits uh, but however uh, you need to make keep in mind that uh, it can result in overfitting uh, another thing that you can do is uh, you can uh, click on the red triangle option here and open this leaf report which summarizes the splits that you are seeing here oh and by the way one other thing is uh, you can see that the uh, the partition outcome graph here kind of uh, keeps changing as and when uh, you keep splitting and uh, so now if you look at this leaf report it kind of summarizes the split over here so now here you can see from the first box that uh, from the leaf label uh, so basically this is the probability and this is the counts but just let, let's just try to understand the probability here so now when react 2 is less than 5.275 percent and when react 1's concentration is uh, less than 11 you can see that 99.68 percent of the batches pass However, when React 2 is greater than 5.257 and when the humidity is greater than 57.5, about 95% of the 94.5% uh, of, 95, of the batches fail. So now, uh, as I mentioned before, 
uh, you can keep splitting as and when uh, how many ever times you want but here you can see that for some of them the counts is very less so uh, you need to keep in mind that uh, when you keep splitting then you might end up uh, uh, fitting the noise in your data uh, so this can sometimes not make any sense so in this case uh, you can actually uh, set a uh, the number of counts, a minimum number of counts uh, beyond which no splitting is possible. So now for, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that value, but before doing that, I'm going to prune the model and take it back to the uh, one tree, one classification. And then now uh, what I do is I go to this rectangle option and then I choose this minimum split size. So right now by default it's five, but I'm going to set it to 10. And then I say OK. And then what happens is when you keep splitting, right, uh, you can see that uh, the leaf report gets updated and also the partition for outcome gets updated. But uh, you can see that uh, when I keep splitting, uh, clicking split, it's splitting, but keep checking the number of counts. So now it's close to the minimum value that we have set 10. So beyond this, uh, so here you can see that it's split again. But now uh, if I click split, you can see that nothing happens. The reason is because the number of counts has already reached the minimum set value of 10. So beyond this point, you'll see that uh, it will not uh, split further. So now you can see from this uh, leaf uh, report that uh, when the react 2 is similar to what we saw before, when react 2's concentration is less than 5.257 and when react 1 is less than 11.03, 99.68% of the batches pass. Uh, but when uh, React 2 is greater than 5.257 and when humidity is greater than 57.5, 94.52% of the batches fail. So yeah, this is how you do uh, uh, decision tree based uh, 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 class uh, or you can use decision tree uh, to model a classification tree in order to predict the outcome uh, of, uh, in this case it was uh, passing and failing of a uh, film thickness uh, of a polymer that was spin cast on a substrate. Uh, in the next video, I'll be showing how to do a regression analysis or regression tree with the same data.